Uh, in the time we have left, let's do a r lightning round of quick questions and quick answers. I know you always enjoy this so much, Mr. Secretary. always get you in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> the House and a Senate committee have voted to repeal don't ask, don't tell over your objections that the Pentagon review should be completed first. Is a repeal inevitable? Well, I think you'd have to ask uh, the members of Congress that. I haven't done any head counts. Uh, we are, the president has made his decision. Our review is about how to implement this and what, uh, what are the obstacles, what are the problems, what are the challenges, what are the issues, how do we mitigate uh, the negative consequences if we identify negative consequences, uh, what are the questions we have to address. Those are the things this review is all about, and I feel it's very important for the military to have the opportunity to weigh in, to register their views on these issues, and to give us help on how to do this smart should the legislation pass. As part uh, of your new drive to try to, to cut the budget for non-combat operations, has the president agreed to veto any bill that would include continued funding for the C-17 cargo plane or an alternative engine for the Joint Strike Fighter, even if that legislation also included repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell? Well, as I told the Senate Appropriations Committee, uh, the Defense Subcommittee this week, it would be a very serious mistake to believe that the president would not veto a bill that has the C-17 or the alternative engine in it just because it had other provisions that the president and the administration want. Have you been given an assurance by the president that he will enforce his feelings, your feelings, about the budget, even at the expense of social policy. Well, I think the White House has put out a very strong statement in support. I would also just say that I don't go way out on a limb without looking back to make sure nobody's back there with a saw. So you think that they veto the bill even with repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell? I think so. Uh, you set a deadline for Congress to pass a war supplemental bill by Memorial Day. I don't have to tell you that marker has come and gone, and Democrats are still trying to put money for social programs into the supplemental bill. At what point delay in passing this bill do we begin to hurt the troops? Well, first of all, I didn't set a deadline. I wish I could set deadlines for the Congress, but that's, that's just not the way the Constitution's written. But, but as I told the Congress this week, uh, this past week, we will have to start doing stupid things after the 4th of July recess in terms of planning for major disruptions if we don't have the supplemental by the 4th of July recess. We actually begin to have to take really serious uh, negative actions that impact our troops as well as our civilians uh, in mid to in early to mid-August.